like I can be able to teach their kids English and I can be able to not just be a teacher but they have taken me as a family they have taken me as their abla they are big sisters to the kids and the teacher the kids teacher you look so high but you can't see in the just find it and take it don't ever regret it make me your only one you choose it don't lose it don't let confuse it only then you'll be gone feel like feel like feel like okay hey guys hey everyone hey loved ones Thank you so much for joining my channel my name is jojo if you are new to this channel don't forget to like subscribe comment and turn on that notification bell button please share it with your friends with your neighbors with your family unless you're tired of seeing my face i don't think so i'm so sorry actually i just wanted to share this uh, video i'm sorry i'm kind of addicted to the sunflower so i just wanted to share some of my friends asked me my it's just on like uh, normal calls and all that about like how I survived being a student and being a yeah I survived in Turkey as a foreign actually Turkey changed their name it's no longer Turkey it is Turkey Turkey is a Turkish word for Turkey does it make sense yeah Turkish name for Turkey so it's because they confuse the Turkey and the Turkey you know there is some different the Turkey and the Turkey the bird and the the country so. They wanted it to be in Turkish. Does it make sense? Yeah, I think it does. So now it is called Turkey. It is not Turkey. It's not Turkey. Okay, it's not Turkey. It is Turkey. It's not Turkey. Because people confuse the Turkey and the Turkey. And it's this, I don't know if there is any difference, but nice. Anyways, so what happened? Like uh, being in Turkey, we moved to a house. Uh, first of all, my friend took me in when Corona started, and then moved to a house. We used to I used to stay in the dormitory. I used to I stayed in the dormitory like 2017, 2018. We moved to a house in 2020, like two years. I was in the dormitory. I would say, yeah. So first of all, it was really hard decision to make, but we thank God because He led every step. When like we decided when Naomi to move to a house, God helped us. We were moving to a house that is not really that wasn't really furnished. It was empty, empty, empty. So we have a friend, a Kenyan friend. Yeah, God bless you so much. You know yourself, God bless you. Like um, when we were moving to a house, we went for second hand stuff because here it is cheaper to get her second hand stuff and uh, which are really, really in good condition. And we are students, we don't really need much. So what happened? We went to a place where we knew that we can get affordable stuff. But when we went there, we were like, when we were talking about the prices, everyone was like, okay, you have to, I don't think you're going get to get with such a price. So we had to move on, like really look for it, but we did, couldn't really find. So we had, the, we were supposed to move in, okay, we were moving in, not supposed to, because we had already decided. We we're moving in with a Venezuelan friend, how's my sister friend? And what happened? She just decided, she just told us like, okay, why don't we go and pray? So we went, I remember we went to a place called Coffee Lab. Those who know Coffee Lab, I think it's international. Other than Starbucks, there is Coffee Lab. Other than Java, there is Coffee Lab. So we went to Coffee Lab and then we prayed. And after praying, there is a Kenyan who was like, okay, I'm giving away a dishwasher. If you guys want, you can come grab it. Then we were like, we don't really need a dishwasher. It is like a luxury. We can wash dishes. We are three people. We have visitors. I don't think that is much to take care of. <clears throat> sorry because we can still get plastic stuff cups and plates and spoons but we are like why not it's for free anyways so when we went uh we prayed and then yeah we had prayed already when he texted we went and yeah god bless you so much you know yourself there is a kenyan also who was moving out to an already furnished house so he's like, okay, I'm giving out couch, I'm giving out carpet, this carpet, I'm giving out closets, I'm giving out dishwasher, and also I'm giving out a washing machine. And we were like, whoa, you for real? They said like for free. They didn't say like, okay, you have to give me a certain amount. God bless you so, so much. So yeah, we got all of those things for free. We had to buy our beds, maybe one other closet and fridge, just like basic needs. And then, yeah, God provided. So, like, how am I, have I been able maybe to pay my rent, transportation, and everything? It's just through how I survive in Turkey. Personally, it's through teaching English. 
yeah, I teach English. <laughs> yeah, so I have like some of my of some private students that I teach English, and I feel it is kind of flexible having private students than dealing with the school if you are a student, because now you can either maybe say, okay, today I can't really make it at this time, but I can make it in the evening. And it's flexible, you understand? Yeah, I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Like you can change, you can work with all your timing and also with your client's timing. We can say, okay, today I'm kind of busy, you don't have to come, come tomorrow. And maybe it doesn't work for you or you have exams. So I think that is really like a, a good thing, yeah. So I started, I have been also working with the schools and private students, mostly it's just private students. And it's also easier when it comes to payments because you are able to negotiate it's not like a really fixed amount like okay it is this one it has to be this one because we pay all our teachers this amount but you are able to say okay it's because i have to use this and this and the understanding and with private students also you don't just have students but you have a family because with the college that i was teaching like um the college that uh, i have what happens is like okay we they really really like they're really caring they're really understanding they're really loving and also when I look at the the private students that I have, and it is not just about teacher and student, but it's the relationship that I have built with my students and with the parents. It is more of a family and I look at it and I'm like, yeah, being maybe I've n I would have never thought of like maybe teaching something, teaching English, but I look at it as a blessing. It has helped me understand, like maybe learn more of Turkish, improve my Turkish at some point and also understand how to deal with kids, to deal with people from teenagers, to deal with adults, because I've been working with like uh, different types of people, different groups of people, age group and stuff, sorry. And yeah, how I survive is by giving private English classes, because I feel it is easier because I can do it. And because there is a time I was really desperate, and I was like, I think I can be a babysitter. But it never worked because... I can't do it. Okay, there is a difference between teaching a kid English and I think babysitting, I don't know, because it is just different. That is all I can say. So like we are gifted in different ways, not like there is someone who can do this and there is someone who cannot do this. So right now I look at it and I'm like, I never thought that I can sit down, be listen to someone, like teach someone and if they don't understand, like repeat it again with patience, with love, with understanding. But right now I've really learned a lot, so I survive in Turkey by giving private English classes. Yeah. So with private English classes, trust me, you I'm able to okay, by God's grace. I really thank God for all that. I'm able to pay my rents, I'm able to pay my bills, I'm able to buy maintain myself. I'm able to buy food because even when I go to teach the kids. I eat there, so sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm full, and we rarely cook in our house mostly. We cook when we have visitors, or maybe someone is willing to cook, wants to cook. We cook, yeah. So we rarely cook, but we eat mostly. Okay, I personally eat mostly at my, my students' place. And also another thing, how do I also survive when it comes to hair? I used to braid my hair, but sometimes it will really, really, like when I braid, it will be itchy, because there is a time I used to really stay, I would just do my twist outs. Not really twist out twists and then just stay with them like that so when i it's, i stayed long like someone before i stayed long before going to a salon i don't know like three three years or something and then when i used to go to a salon sometimes or to have to be braided by a, someone sometimes it will just be itchy or i will have like bad headaches because i was okay personally i think it is because um my head was kind of tender by that time. So it wasn't like it, it had, it was stopped getting used to being braided. So it was just really hard. So what I would continue doing is just uh, do twists for myself because it's also expensive to braid. It's like $50, yeah, $50 to get braided. And maybe if you wanna braid like a cause you can't stay with it for really long. You need to wash your hair and all that. You have to remove, so what I do, I learned also how to braid myself, so. Sometimes I do make like this. I know they're not really good, but they're protecting my hair because in Turkey it is salty water, so we have to protect and our hair needs to be protected like the ends and also to be moisturized. So I, I always I can put this because the twist because it is easy to protect and also to make sure they're moisturized. So I don't spend much on my hair. 
maybe the hair products but not really much because i bought enough so like on my hair i braid myself so i don't really spend much and another thing where do i really yeah also the house we share with right now we are four people one turkish two kenyans two kenyans and one congolese so we are four people in the house and also get but paying the bills is cheaper and paying the rent is also cheaper because your students at the end of the day you don't have to be in these spacious oh i want this i want that jewelry i want this because at the end of the day you're students that you have to now like everything is there is so there is inflation and everything is so so expensive here in Turkey and you look at it and you're like what can we do we have to survive because right now one euro is like 17 Turkish lira that is how bad it is and when I came it was like four or five so within four years it has really gone up so that is how I survive I just wanted to share with you how I survive in Turkey being a student, how I pay rent, how I pay my bills. So yeah, it's easy to survive if you speak English because you can easily give English classes to students. You can easily, to kids, to school or to private. It just depends how much, how do you relate because how you relate with this person. Like for example, you have one private teach student, how you relate, how you teach the kids, it will maybe, it will help you get more students because they'll refer you to others. So that is how I've been able to get my students. And thank I thank everyone who has trusted in me. Like I can be able to teach their kids English. And I can be able to not just be a teacher, but they have taken me as a family. They have taken me as their abla. They are big sisters to their kids and their teacher, the kids' teacher. And as a, yeah, as a family in general. Yeah, thank you so, so much. I just wanted to share this. I'm sorry if I talked a lot. I'm so sorry. But I love you all. God loves you, but I love you. Okay, I love you, but God loves you more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on that notification bell button. Be blessed. And I'm sorry for for what? Yeah, I always apologize because I feel like I haven't really been doing much. That I haven't really been doing enough to my capacity to be able to bring your content. But from, I pray that I'll be able to do it. It's just because I've been having a lot of personal stuff, exams, like it is my final semester. So just trying to, you know, to finish, you know, with that energy. I thank God for this. I'll share, I hopefully will be able to share my, my journey being in Turkey as a student and also my graduation with you guys because you're here and you're a family and I love you so much. But God loves you more. Take care. Be safe. Bye.